Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Carrie. What do you know about this movie? Uh, this is a horror. It won our horror Patreon poll. So we'd like to thank our patrons for voting for this to win our horror Patreon poll. Okay, I think I know the plot of this movie. Oh. Not the plot, like, plot? <laughs> I think I know, like, the gist of what the movie's about. Um, I don't want to say if you don't. I don't. Obviously, I know Carrie's a girl. Good job. <laughs> She's a lady. That's about it, I think. It's Stephen King, and it's a horror movie. So, I don't know, like, demons or some shit, maybe? Okay. Yeah, I mean, because it's Stephen King, maybe there's some supernatural aspect to it. Yeah. I know she's like a high school girl. Oh, okay, cool. And there's one particular scene. I've never seen the scene, but I've seen- And like a still from that scene? A, yeah. Or a frame or whatever. Yeah, a photo of the scene. Okay. That scene that I know, because I feel like that's been like spoofed and things like that, but I don't know the context of it. Like why? Why? That, why? Why? Why does that frame exist? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that's pretty much all I got. I, obviously, I'm expecting a horror movie yeah. because it won the horror pool, um, and Stephen King does some crazy shit. But other than that, like I know Carrie, like the fact that that name sounds familiar. I assume this is a very iconic. I, I don't want to say slasher, but I guess just horror movie. Like we've hit a lot of those like main ones. You know, you have like. Halloween with Michael Myers, Freddy. Nightmare on Elm Street. Ma yeah, uh, Jason Voorhees. Friday the 13th. You know, like there's like classic horror and I believe this is probably slotted in with other classics. I just never experienced it until today. Yeah, so neither of us have seen this. Um, I'm excited to watch it. Um, Cause yeah, I think this is an iconic. Iconic. Horror film. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, or Instagram, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Oh, Brian De Palma. I think that's Untouchables. I think you're right, but I feel like maybe we've seen something else too. I think uh, something else too. Oh, she'll blow it. Wow. Damn. You eat shit. Damn, it's just volleyball, people. These girls are mean. Oh, there's the nudity. Jesus. <laughs> A lot of bush. <laughs> John Travolta. No way. Also, Carrie looks very like familiar. Like who the fuck plays Carrie? Oh, I don't know. You said these are high schoolers? Maybe it's college. I <laughs> thought it was high school. Steven, you're crazy for this one. <laughs> Gonna be so much blocking on YouTube. <laughs> like, why is it so, like such like romantic music? Not necessarily romantic, but cheery. Cheery. Did I put on the right movie? <laughs> I'm like, this is <laughs> very sexual. Okay, did Brian De Palma do Boogie Nights? No. Is that somebody else? Yeah, it was like Paul Thomas Anderson. Ah, uh, you're right, you're right. I'm more concerned if this is supposed to be high school. It's a different time back then. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is this a problem for girls? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was just her getting her period? Yeah. Are they saying, plug it up? I don't know. God damn. Who said a period? What are you doing? Damn, these fucking ladies are crazy. Oh. The fuck is... <laughs> Get out of here. Go on, right now. Move. These girls are... Horrible. Also, so what, they're like 13? It's gonna be okay. What a traumatic first period. Yeah. She's got crazy eyes. For her, her first period. Oh. Mm, yes. How old is she? 
In this day and age, a girl in high school wouldn't know something. Uh, yeah, did she just think she was, like, dying or something? I don't know why that should surprise us. I mean, knowing that mother, of course. Collins. Oh, crazy mom. Uh, Miss Finch, you said in Cassie right. It's Carrie White. Come in, Cassie. Carrie. Carrie, dude. Jesus. It's Carrie. Oh, so she did the light. I think so. Just miss from Jim for a week. Just take study hall instead, okay? She's trying to move this thing. It's Carrie. <laughs> okay. Carrie's got powers. Yeah. And a crazy mom that stunted her intellectually. I would stay away, kid. Creepy Carrie, creepy Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> creepy Carrie just fucked you up. This is not the house I expected for Carrie. Oh, Mrs. Oh. White. How have you? It's not Carrie's house. Won't you come in, Mrs. White? Oh, how kind of you. So that's Carrie's mom, right? This person? Yeah. The teenager's path to salvation through the cross of Jesus. My Sue is a good girl. These are godless times, Mrs. Snell. Those are pretty sinful girls in the locker room. I can't believe this. Just let me get rid of her and I'll call are you Are you saying that? <laughs> Let me get rid of her. I'd like to contribute five, ten dollars. I see. Ten bucks to get the hell out. I pray you find Jesus. It's starting to add up. This is more like it. Music. I if it's a school. I am wondering if it's a school. I know you all listen. Oof. Yo, woman now. Why didn't you tell me, Ma? <laughs> Jeez. Show her that if she had remained sinless, the curse of blood would never have come on her. Damn. Be the sin as surely as God can. We'll pray. No! We'll pray, no. woman! Or carry. Sweat and blood. Turn us a stir of 16. Jeez. Oh, that, all of that was just so creepy. Yeah. How, how'd she get out? Superpowers. Was the door ever locked? I mean, we never saw her lock it. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Kill your mom. You can go to bed now. She thinks her daughter's a sinner just because she got her period. She didn't even know what her period was. But like you're a fucking sinner yeah i'm like you had yeah. sex and a kid <laughs> oh my grandparents had like a yeah i literally recognized that oh my instantly. god it always scared oh my god it always scared the <laughs> shit out of me as a kid <laughs> did it just move <laughs> yeah the whole mirror oh <laughs> And taking stuff from my own personal childhood. <laughs> what was that noise? What noise? Her mirror shattered. Why? Uh, I can't believe that's literally the same photo. It's the exact same thing. And it scared me every time I saw it. And then my parents put it in their own house. Yeah. <laughs> it's at your parents' house. <laughs> I don't know if it's still there. If it, it's still there. I'm getting rid of it. I'm sorry, Jesus. You people who peer into the back seat. <laughs> God damn. It's literally straight from a horror movie. <laughs> if you will let us have room enough. Come on, you guys are like 40 years old. <laughs> this is slightly different from running touchdowns and hitting home runs. <laughs> Plagiarism. It's beautiful. <laughs> is that the beautiful you mean, is it, Carrie? Hmm? Damn, even a teacher dunks on her? <laughs> Maybe he will stand up for Carrie. Grace Parkinson. Damn. Spit out that gum. Where will I put it, Miss Collins? You can choke on it for all I care. <laughs> These girls need some discipline. 
Now I want you all to know that you did a really shitty thing yesterday, a really shitty thing. Three days suspension and refusal of your prom tickets. Oh. But the office has decided you're to have one week's detention. Punishment for skipping detention. Refusal of your prom tickets. Don't got a choice. One, two, one, two, one, two. Just getting them in shape for prom, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, powers of the mind. Oh. <laughs> she went past someone so fast. The period's not up, Harginson. It is for me. Keep running. Oh. What? 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 I'm going to knock you down. Do you understand me? I'll stick together, Norma. <laughs> Helen. <laughs> Looks like they're still running. This isn't over. This isn't over by a long shot. In place, run, one, two, one. Damn. I like her. <laughs> yes, powers of the mind. Read it. Telekinesis by force of the mind. She's probably not allowed to read anything other than the Bible. Yeah. She's gonna have to keep that secret. I want you to take Carrie White to the prom. Whoa, what? Whoa, John Travolta. <laughs> What was John Travolta's first role? Was this pre-Grease? No. <laughs> Man, hitting kids, drinking and driving. Ooh. Oh! What, do you want to get us killed? Dumb shit. You fuck. Damn, is he about to beat the shit out of her? Ah, uh, I thought he was just gonna kick her out of the car. Hey, Sandy. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Is this how she makes it up to Carrie? I think you're being a lot nicer than what I would assume is going down. You think she's playing a prank on her? Come here. Oh, shit. What <laughs> Shit. I thought I told you never to call me that. Come here. What is this relationship? Didn't he just slap the fuck out of you? <laughs> like, what do I do with my hands? How are you speaking? Billy, I hate Carrie White. Who? Huh? <laughs> How was she getting all of that with a mouthful? <laughs> Hi, Carrie. If you don't have a date for the prom next Friday, would you like to go with me? It's next Friday. I know this is late notice, but uh, let's see, they stop. Oh, she's gone. I think she smelled something fishy. Look, did one of the girls do something to you? No. I got invited to the prom. It's great. That's fantastic. You're just trying to trick me again. I know. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm a girl. You have girl instincts. <laughs> now that's a pretty girl. Look at her eyes. You have nice, pretty lips and your cheekbones. I don't think her mom would ever let her. No, not a chance. It's sinful. What do you think? Yeah. She's more of a mom figure. Well, what do you want to know? Why Tommy asked her to the prom? <laughs> what could you possibly have had in mind? I thought it would be a good thing for Carrie. We're not that stupid. Neither is Carrie. You know you can't go without a date. Can't go to prom without a date? I guess they don't let losers. We're not trying to hurt her, Miss Collins. We're trying to help her. How? Was I wrong? Maybe. Girl intuition. <laughs> a little ridiculous when you walk in the prom with Carrie White? We don't care how we look. Uh, he kind of cares. Do we? <laughs> how about they just, like, not be assholes to her? That would go a long way. Like, prom is a big leap. Maybe just, like, talk to her at school. Oh. This is gonna go so bad with yeah. the mom. Hi, Gary. Hi. What are you doing here? You're gonna ask me? No. About the prom again. I already told you. Well, I know, but there's nothing to say it can't change your mind. Gary? <sighs> okay, okay, I'll go. Good, I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock. She did like the poem. I thought there would be something between them in a more natural way, though. Yeah. 
Because he still doesn't want to do this. I'm going to bash your little heads in to worry about the bomb no more. The fuck? I'm not just you. Hold there, you pig. You fuck. You just brought a sledgehammer? Yeah, yeah. Jeez, dude. Just smashing pigs? Where the hell was the security at that place? You haven't touched your apple cake. Gives me pimples. Pimples are the Lord's way of chastising. I've been invited to the prom. The what? Prom. <laughs> I mean, all the kids think I'm funny. I don't want to be. I want to be normal. I want to. It's too late for me to. Be. Oh. His name's Tommy Ross. And he's... Oh, she just kept going. Everything in the sin. Come to your closet and pray. Ask to be forgiven. For getting asked to the prom? Tell that boy you're not going or I'm going to move from here. Oh, she shut the house down. Also, oh, it sounds like Halloween, right? Right, right, right. Psycho. Oh. That's Satan's power. It has nothing to do with Satan, Mama. It's me. I'm not the only one. I don't think your mom's gonna understand. He undid your father and carried him off. He ran away, Mama. The devil tempted him. The devil? You can't stop me. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> she said enough. Go carry. Even though I still feel like this is a really bad idea. Watch it, you stupid shit. You're getting blown all over the place. And you call him that a lot. I mean, you can't even keep that fucking light straight. Just hurry up. Man, they just smashed up a pig to get its blood? Man, making her dress? I'll be here at eight. How's it? Eight's fine with me. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. <laughs> that guy sucks. Did you hear about Tommy Ross? What? He's taking Carrie White. <laughs> so it seems like Sue maybe was being genuine. I think Sue's being genuine, yeah. But the other girl has some fucked up plan with that pig's blood. Makeup. I know, I only got 10 bucks, so. 10 bucks? You can rent yourself a tuxedo, you know? Dang. Come on, does this look nice? Would you go out with me? Not with Ruffles. <laughs> Like no. <laughs> what the heck? Wait a second. I I know just the taxi before him. Well, what do you think, huh? There you go. Oh, she looks so pretty. Yeah, so excited. What Tommy gave me, Mama? Aren't they beautiful? I can see your dirty pillows. Breasts, Mama. Yeah, your boobs are called dirty pillows. Take off that dress. We'll burn it together and pray for forgiveness. No, Mama. She even had a little article of Tommy up on her wall. Whoa, that seemed real close to each other, didn't it? Yeah. Well, he's not coming. He is coming, Mama. Now stop it. What's going on? He's going to laugh at you. No, They're no, all going to no, laugh at no, you. No, Tell no, him that you changed no, your mind. Sit down. Quiet. Oh, damn. Just held her down. Ugh, but like her mom kind of had a point there. <laughs> I know her mom's like so psycho, but kind of correct. Like she's worried about her. Be home early. <sighs> Damn, just put her mom in her place. So I wonder if Sue's going with someone else. Don't know. Can we wait here just a minute. You're not gonna tell her she looks good. The devil's got a heart of his own. What song? What are the lyrics to the song? Something about the devil? Hey, where did you buy that dress? I love it. I made it. The decoration sounds like a grave. So many gossipers. Go. Where are you going? Just out. I'll see you later. Sue? It's prom night. You look beautiful. I know I don't, not really, but thank you anyway. So harsh on herself. Hey, what's going on here, huh? Mm. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing with my date? <laughs> Have a lovely time, okay? And you too. <laughs> Dang, if only that was her mom. That was so wholesome. Are you ready to dance? I don't know how. Thank you. Thank you. I just wish this was more like natural, like Sue was not in the picture. Because <laughs> I feel like he's obviously being nice. Yeah. But it's only for a short period of time. Yeah. See, you got it. 
That's good. You're as good as anyone else out here. <laughs> Whoa. It's just like That's all right. No harm. No foul. Oh, was this? Did Sue <laughs> ask you to go this far? I thought he was going to give her a kiss on the forehead. Why am I here with you? Because I asked you. Why'd you ask me? Because I wanted to. I feel like they're spinning faster and faster. It's making me dizzy. God damn. This is hurting my eyes. I feel like they were genuinely laughing there because they were probably on something that was spinning them like crazy. But are they too close? And now is it going to like backfire? Like just Sue going to watch them kiss? If you win, all they do is they put you up there for a school song and a dance. Oh. Uh, so that everyone can see we look like a couple of idiots. <laughs> oh, they're going to rig it. To the devil with false modesty. The devil. <laughs> I don't like all this devil talk. <laughs> devil songs, devil talk. Jesus, you want to get caught? That Carol White just sure is cute. <laughs> Suddenly everyone's like, oh, wow. We're right back here. Let's so start kicking. Damn. Goes everywhere with that stupid fucking hat. I have some more ballots for you Thank guys. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Oh, that's where they are. Oh, wow. They're under the stage. Damn. Is it gonna get on just Carrie or will it get on Tommy too? I give you Tommy Ross and Carrie White. Yeah! This sucks. It's like so angelic and she's about to get covered in blood. They're under the stage. How are they even gonna know? Like when they're in place? Yeah. Oh, it's just over her? Can she stop it or is it going to look like she did it? Oh. This is a lot of suspense. Oh my God, is everyone going to notice but Carrie? Put it together, Sue. people why didn't you just listen to her oh this is so silent just hear the dripping of the blood oh Is everyone really laughing? We're all sorry, Cassie. Or is this? No, there's no way she would laugh. No. Trust me, Carol. That was shot so perfectly. <laughs> oh, she's going hardcore. Oh, get everyone. Is he, is Tommy dead? Yeah, fuck her in particular. Oh! Oh! Did she just get cut in half? Carrie snapped. She's just going to cook them all. Oh, Carrie just killed everyone at school who went to prom. Oh, they got out? <laughs> oh, fuck. Not even a chance.
So is like Sue the only one that's alive? I think so. Because the uh, teacher pushed her out at the perfect time. Yeah. Damn, I can't believe the teacher got it. Everyone got it. Well, I guess she thought the teacher was laughing at her. Yeah. She thought everybody was. I mean, she just killed everyone. Is she going to go kill her mom? Where is her mom? Her room's upstairs, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh my, I thought that was a mannequin. <laughs> And just like the beginning of the movie. <laughs> oh, she doesn't have a knife. I should have given you to God when you were born. And I was weak. Weak that she didn't kill her kid? We'll pray for the last time. We'll pray. Where's this knife? Oh! Damn, she really just stabbed her in the back? With a smile on her face. Oh! No way. <laughs> Just die already. She looks so peaceful. I feel like it was like the same spots as the one, the oh, Jesus figurine in the closet. You're right. Is she collapsing the house? What the fuck is going on? Is this like house going to hell? Because Carrie didn't do that. Dr. Schneider said that's to be expected after all she's been through. That she'll forget all about it in time. I don't know. Her whole school died. With Tommy and all the others gone. It's best we just go away for a while. Damn, someone fucking wrote that still? I mean, she did kill hundreds of people. I mean, does Sue have to feel like a massive sense of responsibility for all of this? She sent her in there. Also, this cross is gigantic. I thought it was like... A small little thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Why? Oh my god! That was the worst. Oh my god. I genuinely think I almost died. <laughs> oh my god. Why? I thought the movie was just over. That was fucking brutal at the end. My heart is racing. All right. That was Carrie. What'd you think? That was insane. Yeah, that was um, brutal. Yeah. Okay, so the scene that I knew of was just Carrie on the stage, just soaked in blood. Okay. That was it. Before all the other psycho stuff started happening, it was just her standing on the stage covered in blood. Right. I didn't realize this was Stephen King until you said it. So I had no anticipation of any type of um, supernatural element to it. I definitely thought it was going to be a lot just like bullying uh -huh. essentially. And that would be how it ended up with her covered in blood. Gotcha. But damn, like the end of that movie. I mean, I don't even know where to start. I guess <laughs> the beginning of the movie. Those girls were horrible. Yeah, they were horrible. I mean, she got her period. And at first you're like, why are you freaking out? Yeah. 
you know, but then you realize, oh, hardcore religious parent doesn't uh, explain normal bodily functions to the child. Yeah. And she also matured late and stuff. So it's like she genuinely had no fucking idea what was going on. No. And she's screaming out for help. And these kids are just chucking tampons at her, telling her to plug it up. Like she's like panicking. Yeah. Like it, that was such a traumatic start to the movie. Yeah. For our introduction to our character. And it just like didn't really stop. Everyone at the school had uh, opinions and beliefs about her. Uh, I mean, there's graffiti on the walls making fun of her. Mm -hmm. They're screaming at her before that for a volleyball game, like during like PE. Yeah. Like people fucking hated Carrie. Yeah. No, people hated her. And then she goes home and then she has to deal with her mom. Her, yeah, her mom, which is a psycho and everyone in the neighborhood knows is a psycho. Yeah. I mean, they, they don't want to deal with her and she's like pushing all of these like extreme religious views on her daughter, clearly to the point at the end where she's like, I should have killed you essentially right when you were born. Yeah, you were conceived through sin, so yeah. I should have killed you, and I'm weak for not killing you earlier. Yeah, and then tries to kill her. And yeah, tries to kill her own daughter. Um, I mean, Carrie took out literally everyone but Sue. Yeah. And the teacher inadvertently saved Sue. By right. kicking her out of the prom. It was all just so insane because, first of all, Sissy, I don't know how to say your last name, but the actress who played Carrie, perfect. Like, the, her facial features yeah. were so insanely perfect mm -hmm. for someone who was, like, down on themselves. And like, and, like, the innocent. And the innocent, like, why are people picking on me? And then that, in combination with her actually, like, being a normal kid mm -hmm. and how just like completely different she looked, mm -hmm. even though she looked identical. Yeah. But like- She that, had like the confidence going to prom. Literally, like that sequence of her walking on stage, yeah. it was like angelic. Yeah. Like she looked perfect. Yeah. And then you throw blood on her and like her eyes just- It's the pop. eyes. It's the yeah. eyes are insane. Whoever the fuck casted Sissy for this- Yeah. Deserved an Oscar. Yeah. like. That was so incredibly good. Yeah. She was able to make you feel so bad for Carrie. Yeah. And then when Carrie snapped, it was like, this is literally a demon right now. Yeah, no, that was wild. Like I said, I didn't know about the supernatural element to it. So her like snapping like that, it just progressively kept getting worse. Like she snaps, she shuts all the doors and it's like, oh no, like what's gonna happen? And then she starts like electrocuting people and she's got the fire hose going. Like damn near drowning people. Yeah, and then water. the whole freaking school gym goes up in flames. She just locks the door behind her. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, Carrie snapped and killed everyone. Yeah. And that was like one of my favorite sequences, that whole buildup of anticipation and tension and stress of just waiting for the pig's blood and like Sue kind of figuring it out and then the teacher grabbing Sue and pulling her out and stuff like that was so perfectly done and it makes sense now that it's Brian De Palma I believe who did Untouchables which we saw on the channel and it has like one of the most recognizable scenes of like tension and stress mm -hmm. in like movies with the whole shootout on the staircase yeah and like the baby the carriage going down stuff. yeah so that was just such a prime example of like how to build the tension. And then when it finally happens and the sound design with it being completely silent and all you can hear is the dripping of the yeah. blood and like the banging of the pan. But you can tell like Carrie's screaming. There are some people laughing. Yeah. But Tommy's also there like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Like, Tommy was not in on this no. or anything. He was just as shocked. I'm pretty sure he died getting hit in the head with that pail. I mean, if he didn't die getting him in the head, he'd burn. He'd burn to death if yeah. he wasn't already dead. But that was just so perfectly shot with like the tension building up to it and then the sound design. And then from that point on, I feel like maybe her mom was onto something. <laughs> like, cause I feel like Carrie obviously snapped and killed everyone. But I think it got to the point where at the end, like was Carrie just genuinely possessed by the devil? Because there's so much religious, like, and religion pushed on this, but Carrie wasn't collapsed. Like, Carrie was frightened with the house collapsing. Like, that house sunk into hell as it, like, focused on 
Jesus. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe. I feel like Carrie was possessed. That's what I'm going with. So you think she was possessed and then came out of it and then the house got taken? I feel like she was possessed to snap because Like she, she got possessed at the prom. Like that was like the trigger. It was, was like the, the trigger blood. to like all of the people. Yeah, with the blood, it like that triggered the devil to like fully get inside because she was having visions. What makes me believe that is her looking at the teacher laughing Right. And there's absolutely no way in hell the teacher would be laughing. No, no, no. And yeah. I, I don't think the majority of people would be laughing. I think there people would be laughing at the blood, but I think when Tommy got hit in the head, yeah. I think a lot of people would have stopped laughing. There's no way in hell that the teachers are gonna look at this and all of the teachers were laughing. No, there was like a scene real quick where uh it was the hat girl, Norma. And like, I think a couple of the guys who were running out, I think they were like the only people that were laughing. Like it, it was a quick glimpse of yeah. it, but I don't think anybody else was really laughing. Yeah, so that's why like, I feel like it was a trigger. And then from that point on, she couldn't control it because she's getting fed like the false information that everyone is laughing at her. Yeah. And also just the way that she was like walking, she had like her hands like awkward. Like she was just walking like she was possessed all the way until she got home. And then she got inside and she kind of changed a little bit. She finally was able to take a bath and like snap out of things. And then her mom killed or tried to kill her. I feel like that was like in self-defense. Yeah. And then she like, obviously is freaking the fuck out because the house is sinking into hell. And even at that point, she's trying to like rip her mom and take her into safety and yeah. stuff. Cause it would have been obviously different if she like killed her mom. And then like you see her like use her powers to start collapsing the house. But yeah. she was, she was fucking panicking. Yeah, no, she was in there. She was panicked. She tried to protect her mom. I mean, her mom was already dead. Yeah, but, but at least take her mom. Yeah. No, I mean, she seemed like a, just like a scared little girl at the very end of it. Um, and the house definitely got dragged to hell. Yeah. Dr drug dragged. Regardless if she was, <laughs> regardless if she was possessed or not, I feel like there was a lot more like religious input into it than I thought. I thought maybe like once all that happened, she would maybe snap and like maybe she would target some of the specific people. Yeah. But she just went full on slaughter. But she also had like, it was playing like the moment that her mom was like, they're all gonna laugh at you, yeah. they're all gonna laugh at you. So it's like, was it also just like her mom just in her head after all of this time? Most likely. I mean, who knows, this is supernatural. So, I mean, there is a possibility that like I she mean, did, but. I personally, I don't think so. I think that her mom had just slowly messed her up for her entire life. And then she was also learning about like her telekinesis and everything. And then the pig's blood was like the final straw. Whatever it was, it was so insanely wild. I don't think that my jaw was not open for like the last like 20 minutes of the film. And that has to be one of the, I don't know if it was like, uh, uh, the biggest jump scare that we've ever had. There's one jump scare I will put above that jump scare, and it was one of the original films that we talked about. I don't want to spoil it in case somebody hasn't seen it, but... Okay, close your ears, everyone. What? <laughs> the Friday the 13th. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump scare was 100% the worst jump scare that I have ever had on this channel. But I genuinely think I blacked out for a little bit. No, this jump scare though, which is so weird because it wasn't even like, it wasn't a lot and it wasn't, it didn't, I don't even think it was fast. She like slowly. No, it was just so unexpected. Yeah, because no, because it was so peaceful. It was so peaceful and it built it up too. Like the mom had woken or the mom had gotten out of the room and was talking on the phone. Yeah. Like it wasn't You did like, not think she was dreaming of this. No, we didn't just cut to Sue walk. Like if it was yeah. just like a harsh cut to Sue walking, yeah. then you'd be like, oh, I guess Sue's, but like we had buildup to this jump scare. Yeah. And I thought it was just the end of the movie. And yeah. like she would put the flowers down and that was it. Yeah. So for it to like just reach out, Carrie to reach out from hell and grab her. Yeah. And then for her to just like wake back up in the bed. Yeah. And none of that had happened. Yeah. Uh, it makes a lot of sense too, because you said like, when Sue was walking up, you're like, Sue must feel terrible. She yeah. must feel so guilty mm -hmm. that it was her idea to send Carrie to the prom mm -hmm. and it resulted in literally hundreds of people dying. Yeah. 
And then she wakes up from this horrible nightmare. And it's probably because she does feel so guilty that she's just trapped in this nightmare. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I know, in my head, I was just thinking about how does anybody like, I mean, I know that Sue, whose dream had the like Carrie burns in hell or something like that. But I was just thinking like, how would anybody even know that? Everybody that was there is dead minus Sue. Sue's the only person that knew what happened to Carrie, but nobody else in there knows even what happened in general. I think it was besides John Travolta and Chris and they got toasted. Good. <laughs> so is Sue the only person that knows? And Sue doesn't even know to the extent of what happened. Yeah. Just the whole gym burned to the ground. Right. And that I guess she couldn't get the doors open. She would know that. Yeah. Cause she was trying to bang them to get them open. But there was um, no survivors. No, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So when I guess that should have been it, when you saw that sign that's like Carrie burns in hell, nobody would know that it was Carrie. Right. Other than Sue. Right. I don't know. I was just thinking about that. No, that's an interesting like way to look at that. Yeah. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, Not that at all. I literally thought it was going to be like a mean girls bullying high school movie that somehow turned into like a horror movie yeah right but like that the extent of it was just like bullying yeah not like anything supernatural um not an entire like town's worth of children burning <laughs> to the ground that's just so crazy i mean that's iconic i mean we talked about it before iconic. i knew this movie was going to be iconic <laughs> And I think uh, the biggest amount of kudos should go to Carrie, the actress oh, who played yeah. Carrie. Yeah. And then obviously just the whole direction of the movie and filming and, and the sound. And uh, it was really good. Like that was just really good. No, that was a really, really good horror movie. And I feel like there was a lot of familiar faces, obviously John Travolta. Yeah. But there were some other people too, where I was like, even we were looking it up, you saw what? Carrie's mom is... Yeah, Carrie's mom is like a main character in Grey's Anatomy. I kept looking at her face and it was... Obviously, she's younger in this. So I was like looking at her, like trying to picture her a little bit older to figure out who it was. And then you looked up... A sissy. Sissy's definitely yeah. been in stuff that I've seen I before. She didn't look familiar to me, but to you, she did. Yes. I have to show you this movie because I love it so much. Uh, Blast from the Past. Okay. It's and, a comedy? And it's a comedy with, okay. uh, with Brendan Fraser. Oh, okay. Brendan Fraser. I don't know. There's definitely an interview where he says how to say his last name. Yeah. I, it's I, not Fraser. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone's always thought it was Fraser. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. So sorry about that. Yeah. But yeah, so I've definitely seen Sissy before and I did not realize, but this was such a great and scary. Oh, wait. I have to touch on the Jesus. <laughs> wait. Literally, your parents are watching the baby right now. Yeah. And the first thing we're going to do is go downstairs and... And tell them that that painting or picture or whatever is prominent in this horror movie. Yeah. And I'm absolutely going to have a nightmare about it tonight. Because it's just uh, like a picture of Jesus's face. But there's just something so eerie about it. And my whole childhood, every time we went to my grandparents' house, it would scare the shit out of me. And they had it in like the hallway or something. So you like... You would always see it when you're not expecting it. It's like something that like the eyes move with the picture. No, yeah, the eyes move on it, so like I, with you. So depending on, yeah, where you walk, the eyes are always looking at you. Yeah, the eyes are always looking at you. I remember when your parents acquired the painting and they have it hung up. It's like a kitchen, right? And then the end of the kitchen is a hallway. And so it's like kind of dark, like, in the hall. And I remember the first time I like walked in and I looked over like into the kitchen to say hello. And this painting is there and I jumped. Yeah. Like it's not, it's a very unsettling photo of Jesus. It's not comforting in no. the slightest. Yeah. And you put it in the wrong place in your house and it will scare you every single time. Yeah. And it's haunted me since I was a kid. So for it to be in this fucking movie yeah. and it to be in a scene that is like, scary <laughs> yeah i've never been a fan of that photo and it valid it, I, I feel comfort you're it, validated it, I validated in being scared of this thing yeah. since i was a little kid yeah and it makes sense now 
because someone else out there said, oh, I got the perfect picture of Jesus to put in that scary scene. And they were like, yeah, this will this will scare people for sure. Yeah. And somehow my grandparents and parents were like, this should go right above our bed or whatever. Like, it's that's not where it is. No, it's, it's in a main part of the house. It's scary. And I don't know if it's still there or not, but if it's there. It's 100% still there. Great. Great. Yeah, no, it's not going to be there anymore. You're going to have to talk to your parents. I'm going to have to talk that. to my parents about that. Yeah. we got to put them somewhere. But I'm also superstitious because I also have like a stuffed animal. Uh, not even a stuffed animal, uh, Bart Simpson. I have a stuffed Bart Simpson that scared me when I was a little kid. And I think it probably has to do with um, child's play. Oh, okay. Chucky or whatever. Yeah. So I'm, I was always from like afraid of that. Cause I remember I, I talked about in Chucky reaction that I saw like one scene yeah. of like Chucky through a, a car or something yeah. like that, the which, car yeah, which was in that movie and scared the shit out of me. Yeah. But, um, so I have this fear and I can't get rid of him because I'm afraid that if I get rid of him, he's going to come back and haunt me and kill me. So if I, I can't get rid of this picture, it's going to haunt me. But if I get rid of this Jesus picture, I'm going to like be taking a shower and then like, you know, get the soap out of my eyes and he's just going to be right fucking there. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm so screwed. I can't, no matter what I do, I'm screwed. <laughs> I feel like we should preface this by saying like the thing that scares Daniel the most next to spiders is like demon. Anything like any demon, de like demons, demonic, yeah. you know, scary religious stuff. Uh, possession, <laughs> huge. I feel like you need to know the context that that scares him. And so, I mean, I also, I feel like we need to elaborate that this Bart Simpson is my size. Yeah, this that's Bart Simpson is gigantic. So you don't want to get rid of him. Can you imagine a, a you size Bart Simpson fucking coming after you because you got rid of him? I'm stuck with this fucking Bart Simpson my whole life <laughs> because if I get rid of him, he's going to become possessed and come after me. And now throw in that Jesus picture. I got two things in my life I can't get rid of. <laughs> Jesus, this carry movie <laughs> fucked me up. I, I literally <laughs> feel like this is just as unhinged as our outro to Candyman. Well, that was because we said that one too many times. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Yeah, I'm thank done. you. Whoever, fu fuck you for Carrie. That's my, <laughs> that's, that's the outro. Fuck you. Never suggest anything ever again that has any sort of Jesus picture in it. <laughs> All right, bye everyone. <laughs>